Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We're back for another little uh, chat session before we decide what to do next. Actually, I haven't talked to Shell yet this time. So this, uh, here, so. I see it found some augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider than <coughs> them. I find Excuse them already me. too wide as it is. It must be the vertical pattern it put them in. Did it know to do that? It must have. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. Here I am. Oh? This should be good. Go ahead. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this Ferelden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. Every land has its assassins. Some are simply more open about their business than others. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? Oh, I have never seen that place. I am sure it has its charms and its dogs. <laughs> hmm. You know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine, and its dark-haired beauties, and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. I mean the smell. For years, I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home more than anything else. That'd be a pretty lousy place to live by a tannery. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in the store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? Yes, and now here I am. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a beautiful Grey Warden? A woman who then spares my life? I could not. I say you are beautiful because it is true. Should I not? And glad I am to hear it. Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiva. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. I'd rank living by a tannery right up there with living near a paper mill or something. Have you encountered many abominations apart from the ones in the Circle Tower? The first time I saw an abomination, my blood turned to ice. It was months before the nightmares stopped. It was the knowledge that I could easily become one of them that frightened me the most. One slip. All it takes is one slip, and everything you are is simply gone. Replaced by madness. And there is no turning back, or at least that's what they say. Of late, I have begun to wonder if... If there is any way an abomination can be cured, or if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity, their humanity. 
Yes. It is madness and cruelty that define abominations. If those are lacking, if the mage remembers the person they truly are, then they are not an abomination. I never saw that. Thank you for showing me another way of looking at it. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? I miss Valroyo. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Valroyo was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Valroyo, streaming from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses, and always floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. Oh, it would take me a day or two to talk about the many splendors of Orlais, her golden fields, her lush meadows. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orlais, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orlais. Dresses, fine dresses and furs, and shoes, of course. One can't mingle with nobility with bad shoes, you see. Orlais is very fashionable. Almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes! Living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Well, they're... they're shoes. They're pretty. Some of them anyway. When I left Orlais, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps, or embroidery. In soft colors, of course, it was spring. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue silk with amber beads on the toe. The shoes made in Orlais were exquisite. Not at all like these clunky, fur-lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. Just look at them. Functionality. They're sturdy shoes, but sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day, but we have things to do, don't we? Now that we've got the shoe conversation, and actually... Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so Something on your mind? Of course. Have you seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. I keep it hidden under my pillow. Sometimes I'll take it out just so I can hug it fondly and remember the good old days. <laughs> Brings a tear to the eyes, you know. Oh, sure. They said that all the self-flagellation would be unpleasant, but you know what they say, one man's pain. You don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. Poke, poke, poke. Tell me everything about your life, Alistair. All right, if you insist. It's not like we have anything better to do, right? The truth of the matter is that I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. I felt like Al Eamon had cast me off unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. The education, mostly, but also the discipline. You need to have a disciplined mind in order to use the abilities we have. It was difficult, but rewarding. I never really felt at home anywhere, though, until I joined the Grey Wardens. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful when we encountered Darkspawn magic. 
So I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? Right. Stupid of me to ask. I'm sorry. We won't always be traveling like this, you know. Once the war is over, once the blight is... Well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Though that seems like a far ways off. And I suppose the Grey Wardens are gone for good. Either way. I suppose you're right. We can create new Grey Wardens, but we'll never get back those we lost. I wonder if it would ever feel the same. Anyhow, now I've sidetracked us. We'd better get back to what we're supposed to be doing right now. Yes. Interesting. Indeed. I think we're going to hit up the uh, the Thetis version of the Ark of the Covenant slash Holy Grail. That'll be our next uh, task at hand. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. What do you want? Ask and be on your way. Father Eirik is our spiritual leader and guide. Revered Father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. Ask and be on your way. We keep to ourselves. We see no need to announce our presence to the world. It's more peaceful that way. Haven's always been here. My family knows no other home. Then perhaps you should return to the lowlands. Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. A revered father, huh? That's new. I wonder what this means. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. The urn is nothing but a legend. I do not know who Brother Jenna TV is or what he says. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything. No. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Going in circles here with this fellow. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? They are hiding something. Tis obvious, is it not? I'm 
do what any good it's RPG over. protagonist does and loot people's houses. I was not expecting to find something so unsettling. Used for food preparation, perhaps? I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. That is human blood. I just do. I also know that no one can lose that much blood and live. What? What now? Finished. A witch of the Kokari Wilds. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right. And they are right in this. You know the stories about. Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. I... um... I see. No, you don't. You really don't. Who are you? You shouldn't be here. I asked you first. No, and I don't care neither. Lowlanders don't belong here. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You, you're the one who'll be sorry. Never trust a Lowlander. Friendliest village in all of Thetis. Something's not right. I can feel it. We have nothing you'd want. Please go. Who are you? You're not from Haven. We... we don't get very many visitors. No, I've never heard that name. How would you describe the place you know only as home? I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look.
uh, you're back. No, I've never heard that name. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look. My my Witcher slash Grey Warden senses tell me that there's a there's a corpse and two chests in that other room. Probably one of the knights, but I don't want to kill it. I don't want to fight through everyone in the village, so. I'm gonna come back for those chests after we've uh, concluded our business here. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... I understand that you are new here. But common courtesy dictates that one shouldn't interrupt. No matter. We were just about done here anyway. But your reverence, we have not completed the sacraments of the Holy Mother or, or, or sung the invocation. Be calm, Nodda. We have an honored guest. Surely the sacraments can wait. That is all for today, my children. I shall see you tomorrow. For now, I should see to our visitor. It is better this way. Many of the villagers are uncomfortable in the presence of strangers. We find outsiders disruptive. They bring others, and before long, Haven is changed. We will go to any lengths to prevent that. You understand a man's need to protect his family, don't you? Brothers, you know what must be done. We must not take those across the floor. are all bruised now. Your word. The task is finished. Who are you? They... they've sent you to finish it. Yo, 
You're not one of them, thank the Maker. So it seems. They take great pains to keep it well hidden. I... I... Uh, oh. The leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. The leg is wounded, but that will heal in time. The foot may have to come off. I thought you might say that. But if the foot goes, it goes. There are more important things than an old man's feet. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. My research led me to Haven, and I have heard the villagers talking. I know the urn is here. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. All right. What is on your mind? Yes, of course. How could I forget? Irik said they were ambushed, some killed, a few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had tortured and murdered these men. Good. Irik and his fellows were a blemish in the Maker's sight. If the Maker would even deign to look upon this world, that is. Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. I do not know. When the Chantry was established, it was decided that only female priests would ever be ordained. It is possible that the villagers, the disciples of Andraste, predate the Chantry and so have no knowledge of the Chantry's rules. They call themselves the Disciples of Andraste. They are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though... as though she were still alive. I thought so at first, but I'm not so sure anymore. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me, where I grew up, things like that. How do you know? An imposter? What happened to the real Waylon? Oh, poor Waylon. I should never have dragged you into this. Make her take you into his hands, my boy. He believed in me, even when I lost faith in myself. I will honor his memory. Was there... was there uh, something else you wanted to say? We will continue with the Temple of Sacred Ashes when we get back.